Welcome to Oryx Circuit Training. So again, today's session is going to be a circuit format. So again, we're going to do six exercises back to back as quick as possible. And we're going to try and get around it six times, okay? But again, as always, we'll start with a warm up and then I'll take you through the exercises we're about to do. So again, let's get them hamstrings moving. So let's get all them muscles moving that we're about to use. So then do six on one side, six on the other. Again, keeping that heel towards the ceiling. Okay, then let's lay onto our side. We're gonna go knees and hips to 90 degrees. We're gonna palms together. I'm just gonna open it up. Again, we're just gonna do four of these. So you can keep the knees pressed together. You can put something between them if you need to. And swap sides. The so same thing again, we're gonna go knees and hips flex to 90 degrees. It's gonna open out. Again, four on one side, four on the other. Again, from there, we're gonna go over onto hands and knees. We're gonna go up into a press up position, or you can stay on your knees. And we're just gonna go for shoulder taps. We're gonna go four taps each side. From there, we're going to go split stance position. You're going to squeeze the glutes. You're going to shift the weight forward, raising the hand up. Again, four on one side, four on the other. And keep the glutes squeezed the whole time. So you squeeze it from here, shift the weight forward, raise that hand up. From there, come up into standing. We're just going to push them hips back. We're going to go thumbs facing away. We're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep them thumbs facing up towards the ceiling. Do this six times. Once you've done that, we're going to squat down. Grab the knee, extend up, and push that leg back. Keeping the toes pointed down towards the floor, and swap sides. So three on one, three on the other. Alternating like so. So once you bring that leg back in, you're going to swap sides. Again, think about hinging at the hips. Push them hips back. Feel it stretching in the hamstring here. Then bring it back in. Okay, from there, I'm just going to squat down, grab the ankle, extend up. Again, three on one side, three on the other. Again, once you do that, then they're going to go into a squat position. We're going to take our feet quite wide. We're going to come down to the elbows on the inside of the knees. Hands just below the toes. And you're going to extend the legs back. Do this four times as well. So you're going to be in this position. Push them hips up. Think about pushing that ass up in the air. Again, we're going to do that four times. We're just going to go into six drop squats real quick. Once you've done that six times, we're going to stand in this position. When I say go, you're going to drop squat out. When I say go again, it's just going to be fast feet, slow hands. Okay, so get yourself ready. Nice narrow starts. Go. Go. Get nice and quick. And rest of there. So again, if your heart rate's went up before, there should be a little bit more raise now. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. So again, start with feet in the close. Go. Go. And rest of there. Okay, so some of these exercises you can do weighted or unweighted, it's up to you. We're gonna do six exercises. Once we've done that, see my dog is there. Once you've done that, we're going to go around and do it straight away again. You can grab a drink in between. We're again, it's going to try and be straight back around again if you can. So again, first one is going to be a reverse lunge into forward lunge, six each side. So it's going to look something like this. Reverse lunge, forward lunge. Again, you can hold a weight like I am here, or you can do it unweighted. 
From there, you're going to go into bent over row. So you can put these water bottles into a bag, make the weight heavier, or you can use the same weight. And we're going to have eight bent over rows. Once you've done that, put the bottles to the side or your weights to the side. And you're going to do eight press ups. So again, you can do press ups straight down like so. Again, to make it easier, drop the knees down, press back up. You can also do partial reps to make it easier. And of course, you can come to an incline to make that even easier. From there, you're going to go into eight Romanian deadlifts. So grab in a heaviest weight, keep them shins vertical, keep the knees in line with the ankles making sure the band doesn't come away from the center. Eight of them. You're then gonna go into eight squats. So again, you can hold in a goblet squat position. You can hold the weights on your shoulders. You can hold a bag like so. You're just gonna perform eight squats, making sure toes are staying in contact with the ground, heels staying in contact with the ground the whole time. Pushing the knees out as you come down and back up. Then from there, you're gonna finish with six hand walkouts. So feet just wider than shoulder width. Then walk out, reach, reach, walk your back up. To make it easier, just walk out and walk back up. So once we've done that, we're gonna go straight back round again. You can grab a drink in between if you want, but again, it's nice and quick. So get yourself ready for that first exercise. It's gonna be that reverse lunge into forward lunge. Go in three, two, one, let's go. So it's that reverse lunge into forward lunge. So again, six on one side, six on the other. Keep the torso nice and stiff the whole time. So the core should be engaged, you're moving through the hips. Once you're on six on one, you're then gonna do six on the other straight away. Okay, try not to let your knee hit the floor like I just did then. Just hover off, there we go. Good, keep going. Once you're on your six reps here, you're going into that bent over row position. You're going to put the water bottles down, make it a little bit heavier, go into eight bent over rows. You can make sure that the weight's in line with shoulders as you pull it up, it goes just below the chest. So the weight doesn't come straight up, it also, it almost curves. Once you've done your eight of them, you're into press-ups. We're looking for eight press-ups. Again, choose the variation that you can do. Once you've done your eight reps from them, we're into that Romanian deadlift position. You grab your weight. Keep them shoulders pinned back, push them hips back, keeping them shins vertical. Go into for eight reps. Okay, once you've done that, we're going into that squat. So again, you can hold a weight here, look for eight squats. Eight. And once you've done that, hand walk out with an arm reach. When you're ready, feet just widen the shoulder width. Walk it out, reach, reach, walk back up. Again, the wider the feet, the easier it's going to be. Again, if you feel like your hips are moving, take that stance wider. Good, one more. Good, once you only six reps, real quick drink. We're going back round again. I'm sure some people are more interested in the dog than what I'm doing. Okay, so when you're ready, we're going again. Three, two, one, let's get it done. So again, reverse lunge 
forward lunge. So again, we're looking for six, reverse and forward. Point you six reps, swap sides. Good, keep it going, keep that torso stiff. So again, torso, I'm looking at the core and the shoulders. So the upper body's staying nice and still. Once you've done that, you're into that bent over row position. So again, I'm going to get myself a little bit heavier weight. Hips go back, remain in deadlift, then roll it up. Hold this position strong. Once you've done that, into that press up. So again, what we're looking for here, we're looking for hips, shoulders and ankles to be in line. The whole time, drop the knees if you need to, push back up. But if not, eight press ups. Remember, don't have the elbows flared out. Don't tuck them all the way in, in between. Okay, so remember, it's that position we're looking for. Once you've done that, we're then going into that Romanian deadlift position. Remember, keep them shins vertical. Squeeze them glutes up, file them forwards. Once you're on that, we're looking for eight squats. Again, you can do it body weight, weighted. Again, it's up to you. Make sure you're keeping the knees pushed out. Once you're on your eight reps, you're into that hand walkout. With an arm reach to make it harder, just walk it out, walk it back up to make it easier. So yeah, when you get out, engage your core, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads. Come on, one more. And grab a quick drink and we're going round again. Again, we're looking for six times round. Okay, quick drink. I did say quick. Okay, if you need a bit longer rest, obviously take it. But again, if you can go when I say go, let's get it done. Three, two, one. Let's go again. Reverse into forward. Two for me. Again, everyone might go at their own pace. Don't try and keep up with anyone else. Get them reps done. Five, six, and swap sides. Once you've done your six reps, bend over row. Looking for eight reps. When you're ready, let's go. Then squeeze them shoulder blades back. Keep them elbows tucked. Once you've done your eight reps, into the press ups. Again, eight press ups, however, you can do them. Make sure the chest goes in between the hands. Whether you're doing it on an incline, dropping the knees, however you're doing it. Remain your deadlifts. Again, stand up tall. Dropping the weight down the legs. If you're finding it hard, painful in the lower back, hold a weight behind you and perform the same thing. Okay, from there we're going to squats. Two, 
three, four. Engage that core. Five. Deep breath in. And out. Okay, hand walkouts. Six of these. When you're ready. Good, that's two done. Three. Good, as quick as you can. Four. Five. Six. Good, quick drink, halfway through. Okay, just say quick drink, let's go. Grab the weights. Reverse into forward lunge. When you're ready, three, two, one, let's go. Watch out for the dog. There you go. Again, when you lunge forward, it's decelerating, so be careful. Again, Lean forward, take some more stress off that knee onto the hip. So looking at hamstrings and glutes by doing that. Angle that torso forward. Push your hips back. Once you're in six on one, six on the other. Walk, keep your balance better than me. Good, once you only six reps, into that bent over row. Eight reps, when you're ready. Six, seven, eight. Into that press up position, remember, you want hands not, in, not underneath the shoulders, just outside but in line. When you press it down, elbow should be in this position. When you're ready, eight reps. And once you've done your eight reps, grab your weights again, go remain in deadlifts. When you're ready, straight into it. Once you've done your eight reps, go into some squats. Once you've done that, you're into that hand walkout. Six hand walkouts of an arm reach. I think my dog wants to get involved. Reach, reach, back up. Straight back down. Good, keep it up. Good, one more. And rest back there. Get a drink, we've got two more times round. I think that was the fourth time round. To be honest, I've lost count. <laughs> Quick drink, back round again. It's got to be two more times left. Well, when you're ready, round in three, two, one, let's go. Is that right? I think my dog's missing out on some attention here. Are 
Again, if you haven't got anything in your way, keep going, keep working. Yeah, I'm just have to change the angle up. Again, once you're doing your six on one side, we're looking for six on the other. We're changing six reps on both sides into that bent over row. So I've got my bag, hips go back, pulling that bag up. We're changing eight reps into them press ups. Eight press ups. Once you're only eight press ups, eight remaining deadlifts. Come on, keep it going. One more time round after this. Once you're on that, eight squats. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Now we're into that hand walk out of an arm reach. Six reps. One. Two. Three. Come on, three more. Four. Two more. Five. Six. Right, quick drink, one arm round. One last round, come on. Come on, work has been really good so far, let's not let it drop. Let's push ourselves one more time round. Go in, three. Two, one, let's go. So again, always angle that torso forward. Get more posterior chain, so we're talking glutes and hamstrings involved. Want to show you six on one, six on the other. Good, keep it moving. Good, last time on every exercise. Remember, bend over rows next for eight. When you're ready, hips go back, pulling that weight up. Good, once you're done that, press ups. Good, once you're out, you went to that Romanian deadlift position. Okay, so just push them hips back, keep the shins vertical. Good, then from there, into squats. So you're going to push them knees out. For eight reps, last time round, each exercise. From there, hand walkouts for six reps. Good, last six reps. Three more. Two more. Come on, keep going. Good, 
Now rest it there. Okay, good work. Grab yourself a drink, and then we'll go through a cool down. That was tough. That was just continuous work. Okay, so let's go down to that cool down. We're gonna go not on top of the leg. Let's pull that leg in. So again, because of the lack of rest period, that's why it's good to do more sets, because again, less rest periods can lead to less muscle growth. But again, if you add in extra sets, then that counteracts the lack of rest period. Then swap sides. So again, you get a good hip workout there, but again, you also get the benefits then of building some muscle as well. Okay, from there, we're gonna lay onto our side. We're gonna stretch out the quad. So top leg comes over, hold the bottom arm, top arm holds the bottom leg. Again, exercise is relatively simple. But again, a simple program done consistently with good effort. Again, it's going to be, give you better results than just doing some programs that are sort of wacky, elaborate, and again, they're inconsistent and swap sides. Bring that top leg over, hold your bottom arm, top arm holds the bottom leg. So again, fundamental movements, squat, hinge, Romanian deadlift, everyone should be able to hip hinge, but again, it's quite a difficult movement for everyone to get their head around. So again, get them in there every session, make sure you've got the movement pattern done. From there, we're gonna go onto the knees, drop, them back, drop the hips back towards the heels, walk the hands away. <coughs> Okay, from there we're going to go into a split stance position. Okay, so from there we're going to go. This position here, squeeze the glutes, raise the hands up, lean over and back. Again, make sure you're leaning over towards the corner of the room. And swap sides. So again, squeeze the glutes. Raise the hands up, lean over, and back. So again, nothing wrong with the good old exercises, Romanian deadlifts, squats, lunges, all great movements to help elicit great results. Okay, from there we're gonna go, knee in position, hands behind the back, lift them up, stretch out that chest. And finish there. Thank you very much for taking out the time today to do that. Again, this is a little bit of information at the end there. I know it's hard to sort of stay motivated. Again, it's hard to invest in kind of yourself, okay? So again, investing in sort of health and fitness, you're, you're basically buying, buying something and you're not getting the product straight away. So again, that's the results. You're after the results. They don't come straight away. So it's not like going out and buying a TV, game console, something that you can get there and then. Again, it's going to take time, consistency. So again, take the time, work on yourself, and you will see the results. That's it for me today. Thank you very much. I'll be back Friday for a strength session. Here we go.